Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. So, I was a slacker. <laughs> Not a slacker. I just, I talked about this in last, last month's plans video. You guys know that I had a super crazy August. I took two trips. I had like parties and social things going on for my birthday. I saw like Broadway plays here that the, the touring plays. I just had something going on all the time. So I didn't get a ton of sewing done. So um, this month I am kind of using it as a time to kind of catch up on all the ideas I had over the summer. It's still plenty warm here. Highs are in the 90s, so it's still very much summertime. Um, so like the white dress with the rickrack, I absolutely still want to make that. I cut out um, one of the tops that I talked about in last month's video, so I'll sew that up possibly even um, cut out the other one and get that sewn. I do have some new projects that I'm working on as well. One of them is super secret and I cannot talk about it until the end of October. Sorry about that, but I'll be getting a head start on that. Trust me, it's amazing. You all are going to absolutely love it. I'll be working on that. I'll also be working on the sew along M7991. You guys heard about this yesterday or a couple days ago. I am making the dolman bodice with this flared skirt from this like super soft uh, lightweight French terry from So So English Fabrics. I'll have that done at the end of the month for sure because the sew along is a four week sew along. We're doing this entire sew along in four weeks. So you guys will see the big reveal for that on the last Saturday of this month. It's sew along Saturday. <laughs> Real creative with that one. Um, so if you're interested in doing the sew along, go watch yesterday's video or Saturday's video and uh, come back every Saturday. We'll be talking about M7911. Um, what else? We also are in the thick of football season. I am living in an NFL city now where there is a local NFL team. So I feel like I have to like really get behind that. So I grabbed some of this Carolina Panthers. I think it's broadcloth. Um, it's ugly. I looked everywhere for something cuter, but this is the NFL licensed design. If anybody works over there or knows anyone, please call someone to get some help with this. This is awful, but it is what it is. So I am going to make a little top from this. I uh, posted my um, willow tank a week or so ago and asked you guys if you would like to see some uh, like hacks, some willow tank hacks. So I think I'm going to use this as an opportunity to make a willow tank hack. I'm going to add a little uh, like ruffle sleeve, maybe a ruffle around the collar, maybe a ruffle around the hem. I'm going to ruffle it up, try and make it as cute as I possibly can. And then as it gets cooler, you, know, you can always layer the willow tank with like a turtleneck type situation. Makes this seasonally appropriate for the games that are in September as well as the games that are in December. That's kind of my mindset around it. It's also a very stiff, like not great quality fabric itself. So I kind of have to work with that. And I think the Willow Tanks kind of, you know, straight shape, you know, no pleats or ruffles or not ruffles, gathers or anything like that um, will be well suited for this. So I'm gonna be doing um, a Willow Tank hack out of this for you guys. So stay tuned for that. Um, I also, I, those of you that live in NFL cities or go to stadiums, you know you have to have those see-through crossbody bags. So I have a fun cricket project coming up um, where I'm going to be making, like decorating this as well as a cute little pair of shoes. So stay tuned for that little project. No sewing involved. Yeah, no sewing involved um, other than the shirt, but um, I'm going to try and jazz this up a little bit with the help of my Cricut and their super new uh, mini heat press. Um, and then in addition to that, I got my Ankara and Lace box. 
and and Cara and Lace is sponsoring this video. So huge shout out to them for that. Much appreciated. Um, if you remember, I uh, did, I opened the last box and I can't remember, maybe it's been a couple months. I think it was like two months ago, maybe longer anyways, and got this really cool, very vibrant fabric. So I'm super excited to see what's in the box for this month. Um, you get, this is the August box. So this is what everybody got last month. Um, if you sign up before the 15th, then you will get September's box. Uh, and then also, before I forget, there's also a coupon code for you guys to use. All the information about Ankara and Lace, the coupon code, the link to get a subscription uh, will all be in the description box. So be sure to head down there and check that out. The description box is always a great place for you guys to check out. Um, it has a ton of information, every single video, not just sponsored videos, like what I'm wearing, links to any of the, pro uh, the products that I mention, all of that stuff is always in the description box. So be sure to check that regularly. Okay, so we are getting apparently fabric, trim, a magnetic pin cushion, some sewing stickers, and a McCall's pattern, I think. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Oh man, okay. Okay, that's the fabric. Oh yeah, wow. Okay, ton of stuff came in this box. Let's see, Let's start with the little stuff. So I got a magnetic pin cushion, which I have a gajillion of these. <laughs> this will be my third. So I have one at my cutting table, one at my sewing machine, and now I guess I can put one by my serger or over by the um, ironing board. I, honestly, you can never have too many of these magnetic pin cushions. I love those. I got some rickrack, some black, and this one is like a kind of like a royal blue. That's pretty. Then I got a McCall's sewing pattern, one that I don't have. It's a Laura Ashley 7963. How cute is that? It's very um kind of sexy. Like the back is like totally like a lace-up situation. We've got spaghetti straps. We've got like some beautiful like ruching, like bust cups, you know, kind of a fitted elasticized waist. Um, and then you have shorts for a romper. You have pants for a jumpsuit. And then even this like little mid-length one, which is kind of cute too. And the ruffle sleeve, that's adorable. So I'm not sure I will be making this pattern out of Ankara fabric. You definitely could, especially this version here would be stunning, um, but not totally my style. Um, but yeah, this is cute. That'll be really fun whenever spring rolls around again. I've got Lily Bell signs, embellish your sewing machine stickers. So you take all these little stickers and you put them all around your sewing machine and you get like you know, a cute little sewing machine design. That's really sweet. There's red ones and blue ones. That's super cute. You could also, I'm sure, put it on your iron or I don't know, all over the place. That's fun. Okay, cute. All right, and then really what you're here for. This is the Ankara fabric that I got this month. Ta-da! That's actually probably the wrong side. Hold on. Ugh. How stunning. I don't think I have any brown fabric at all. And then it has these beautiful like yellow medallion type things on it. Oh my gosh. So, so pretty. So, so pretty. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be adding this to my plans for this month. Um, I didn't know what it looked like before I opened the box, so I don't have a pattern picked out yet, but I think that Ankara fabric is so well suited for fall because it is cool enough because it is kind of like a, you know, it's like a waxed cotton, so it's not super breathable. Um, so it will be nice to kind of keep you a little bit warm. Plus the fall silhouettes with like, um, tunics 
and kind of that like straight, you know, silhouette of dresses even, or like, you know, you're starting to sew pants. And so, you know, the beautiful straight line, wide leg pants are stunning in Ankara fabric. Um, so I just feel like fall is, fall's patterns are really well suited for um, Ankara fabric like this. Similar to how you're kind of reaching for like sweater knits right now, you should also be reaching for Ankara fabric um, for some of the more structured patterns that you are buying or that are in your stash. So I just, I mean, I love this one. I really feel like I'm going to get a lot of wear out of it, even if I made pants. And I feel like there's black, but there's also navy in it as well, which is, I mean, so versatile. So we've got white, yellow, brown, navy, black. I mean, you could, if you made pants, you could pair any top with this. So maybe I'll try and find some wide leg pants that I've been wanting to try. I don't think I'll be doing an elasticized waist. I'm gonna try and do something, you know, really structured. And I know you guys are thinking, but Lindsay, you hate pants. I'm getting, I'm, I'm, I'm coming around again. <laughs> so, um, after the success of those Vogue pants with the, um, with the, um, boning in the waist, actually those would be great out of something like this. Maybe that's what I'll do. Another pair of those Vogue pants. Truth be told, the coral ones I made and the black ones I made are too big by about an inch right now because of my getting my health situation under control. So that would be a really, really good option too. And it avoids needing a waistband. There's a zip closure. It's not fussy with any anything wild happening um, at the waist. So yeah, those would be really, that'd be a really, really good option. Um, but I also, you know, a dress like this one that's like fit and flare. I mean, this fabric is a stretch sateen, which is about as structured as this is. So you could also do a dress like this. This one has like some ruffles in it. You can see those details here. So this would also be really well suited for fabric like this as well. And y'all know I love dresses. So I have to get to my pattern stash and I have to start looking through and seeing what I've got to get to sewing this. So yeah, super cool, super fun box. I love these little notions and stuff that we got too. That's also a really great addition to the box. So like I said, head to the description box to get all the information you need about Ankara and Lace and get your own subscription. Use the coupon code. You guys know all the good stuff. Um, but yeah, so that's going to do it for my September plans video. Uh, fingers crossed for me that I can get all my ish together and get into the sewing room more and actually get some sewing done. Um, speaking of which, I probably should go. So I will see you all in my next video. Bye.